Well, come on in. This is Spruce and Studs. And you know what? I'll be honest with you. Feeling a little uh, tightening in my lower pants region. You want to know why? Well, it's too much information, but I will let you know exactly why I'm feeling that tightness down there. It's because we have blood angels to review. Many, many blood angels to review. And the first one I am very proud of to review is going to be the Blood Angels Terminator Ancient. So let's take a look at what is inside that box. Time for the Ancient. Bear witness to the full glory. Oh, this is sexy as hell. And I'll show you how the banner is packaged. It is directly underneath the main packaging as you can see right there. Ahead of us, we have a fine specimen of the Indominus Pattern Tactical Dreadnought Armor. This is so beautiful, I just kind of want to cry. <sighs> I love my Blood Angels, especially the Blood Angels of the first company who are affectionately known as the Archangels. Anyways, I'm sorry, I digress. I get very, very excited when I review action figures of my favorite chapter. So anyways, let's take a look at this beautiful boy here over here. And what can I say except, <laughs> I love it. And that is the review of this action figure. Anyways, we'll take a look at this guy, obviously in more depth and detail. So clearly up top, you have one of the mainstays of the Blood Angels iconography, which is the chalice and the halo up here, which is very nice and ornate looking. It does not appear that there is any kind of highlights whatsoever, but I do detect some shading down in some of these recessed parts. We're going to take a look at the Terminator's face area. So you have metallic green lenses, which I love to see. And then within these recesses, lo and behold, yes, there is shading that many people had lamented that, oh, the shading is gone, but no. It is not gone. You get to see the shading right here. And the lenses up here also carry nice depth because you get to see more metallic blue. And next, we're going to look at the broad shoulders of this Terminator. And look at this beautiful, beautiful pauldron. You have the lovely black wings. And within these black wings is nice highlighting too. So it brings out the black. And obviously you have the large and prominent blood tier here and flipping on the other side where the crux terminatus lies you can see it's a nice very prominent gray looking icon so we are going to move on to the arms of this terminator within these arms resides a blood tier some hoses to power the terminator armor probably here and then on the other side, it is much of the same thing. In the middle of this Terminator, you have a icon with a very large wingspan that mimics the look on the right pauldron. More black wing death with highlights and then your blood tier. And checking out this middle section, you have a prominent belt buckle with a blood chalice here. More blood tiers on the side and then rotate this around get to see another piece of iconography attached to a chain, purity seal, flipping around the back, you get to see a triple blood tier that is also nice and metallic looking. All these panels you see over here are attached by the regular ball and socket joint here. As you can see, you can pull it off and then put it back on. Then we're going to flip over to the front side again and take a look at the iconography from needs below. You get to see two shaded skulls, more blood tears, and more black winged blood tears. And finally, rounding out the whole entire thing are th two purity seals. And now, let us take a look at my favorite hand to hand combat weapon, which is this large and humongous thunder hammer. Now, this thunder hammer is actually attached to the action figure right here, so you can't really remove this thing. Uh, so, up top, you have a massive head. <laughs> Anyways, this head is obviously black colored and it has been highlighted, which is great. The head of the Thunder Hammer actually looks like the bolt rifles that we find on the Primaris. And you have a nice prominent gold skull 
and your characteristic first company thunder hammer where there are feathers here for the end of this thing. The middle section of the thunder hammer has a ton of weathering on it. And finally, I will have to say the handle also has a bunch of excellent detail where it's painted black, but it's also highlighted. Now let's put down this Terminator and take a look at these very large accessory that we get with him, which is the first company banner. Starting off with the pole here, really nothing much to see except that it is functional, it is dark gray, and it will be helping support the banner in which we're going to get to right now. The banner. What is up with the banner? Well, it is made of a soft plastic material, very, very similar to all the other banners that we have seen in the past from Joy Toy, but there is a bunch of detail as you would expect on this banner. The banner is adorned with purity seals on the side, and then on these little smaller banners, you have blood tears that are flanking the sides of this thing. You have a sun icon with a blood chalice in the middle, a skull, the characteristic first company where you have the talon claw of a bird, as well as the characteristic wings of the bird, which has shading in between the recesses of each feather. And up top here, you do get to see some highlights as well. The bird is clutching a talisman in its claws right here. And obviously you have the Blood Angels chapter name, chapter marking, the blood tears, and a bunch of icons down here as well. I'm going to flip over to see if there's anything interesting back here. Nope, it is a solid black piece of plastic. And the final thing that we're going to look at is this lovely standard topper, as you can see. It is gold and is, of course, representative of all Blood Angels chapter iconography, which pretty much is a priest clothed in robes with a blood chalice and has the lovely, wide, expansive wings of Sanguinius probably on his back. There is subtle shading going on in between the recesses of the feathers. I'm going to flip around. You do get to see some more subtle shading going on as well. Now that we have taken a very, very close look at the action figure itself, let's take a look at the movement of this Terminator here. So due to the construction of the armor here, you do get some limited motion with the head. You can't rotate this around 360 degrees. It has a very, very limited range of rotation, but you do have plenty of wobble going on back and forth with the head area. With the shoulders, it is as expected. You're going to get 360 degrees of rotation right here. And then with the forearm area, you get to rotate this thing roughly around 360 degrees. It is slightly inhibited by this cord, but it's still possible to rotate this around like that. The elbows are also your normal double jointed elbows. So you can push this in once and then push it again here. The wrist is also 360 degrees about this ball and socket joint here. And then about this joint here, there is limited amount of motion that you can get mainly because of the pauldron is pretty large. So you can push it out like this and then push it back in. And then above the chest and torso region, you can pivot this around 360 degrees. And there's a lot of wobble that you can see back and forth here. And then about the torso and the waist region, you can actually pivot this again, 360 degrees, as you can see here. With the leg area, I do not believe that you can get 360 degrees of motion, mainly because of this panel right here. But you can probably pop it off and do it. I'm not going to bother. You can kick it out back 90 degrees and then 90 degrees out front very easily. The knee region also reflects his normal Primaris armored brethren. So you have one knee joint here and then another knee joint that you can push further back. And here is a better look at that knee joint. About the ankle area, you can see it's also a ball and socket joint. There is plenty of motion. You could definitely do 360 degrees. And finally, the toe area, you can push it up like that. And finally, we have covered this Terminator armored Space Marine extensively. So let me wrap this one up. So what did you think of this majestic terminator based off of my review as usual please let me know in the comments section so we can engage in some 
active dialogue with each other. I will let you know what I think about it. Obviously, my opinion is going to be very biased, as I am a Blood Angels fan, as I have said a thousand times before, so I'm going to say definitely get it. But I'll give you some reasons why I think you should get this action figure. First of all, uh, it's the banner. You should get this one because of this gigantic banner. When you display these things in your display cabinet or wherever you're going to display it, people's eyes as well as your eyes are going to naturally gravitate toward this banner, just like on the battlefield. It's great and it does a fantastic job of depicting Blood Angel's iconography. The second reason is this big, meaty thunder hammer. This thunder hammer is obviously bigger than the Primaris ones, but this is, like I said, very big, very bold, and very poignant. And the final thing I'll have to say is that the iconography on this thing is fantastic. I think Joy Toy did a very good job of capturing all the Blood Angels elegance in the Terminator right here. A few other things of note. The biggest thing is posability. It, is, it has some sort of limitation just because of the bulk, but I'll have to say that when I was posing this action figure for the B-Reel, it was very sturdy and did not require that much stabilization to maintain a standing pose like this. So that's one thing that I would I want to comment on. Once again, thank you for tuning in so religiously every single week to my review videos. I appreciate your support as well as those comments that you leave in the comment section. You know that I always reply to most of them as much as I can. So again, thank you so much. And if these in-depth videos are your thing, please make sure to hit that subscribe button as it helps the chapter out very, very much. So once again, thank you all for your support and I'll see you all in the next one.